Hello everybody, my name is Steve Splint and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series and it's not quite a settlement but I'm gonna work with it as long as it's got a workshop. So I am here at uh, Diamond City and uh, I'm gonna take a tour of Home Plate which is the uh, player home that you can buy in Diamond City and outside I've got my uh, horsepower armor from the Creation Club. I kind of use it on and off but not as much as I used to. <laughs> so let's go inside. So inside, it's not it's not the most lavish diamond or player home plate, excuse me. It's not the most lavish uh home plate build you'll probably ever see, but it's just enough for me. So we go to the right, we got ourselves our stocked fridge from uh, Creation Club. We got ramen milk, hermit crab meat from Far Harbor, ice cold stuff, and no, this is not a, a fact of the refrigerator, it's just a wordplay that I just put ice cold stuff in the refrigerator. I wish that was the case, that you could take beverages and make them ice cold, but um, that's not a thing. I got the Captain's Feast in here from Far Harbor. I got some Vim. And then we got our uh, cooking stove here. We got some decorations. Nuka Cola. The Miniman flag, as always. We got a sign of the dining table. Oh, okay, that's because I got an item on search, but I'm not going to need it anymore. Um, I think I did this once. I put a radio on top of the workshop. I don't think it was here originally. I might be wrong. Um, but I always made a habit of just putting a radio on top of the workshop because it's just really kind of funny. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, and then in this container I've got all my uh, Slocum's Joe stuff. So I got t-shirts, the uniforms and visors, uh, bacon, Donut mix, excuse me. I don't know why I have the mystery bacon and jerky in here, but I do. Then we got the buzz bites. And then um, some of the stuff you need to cook with. So I got the espresso tins, uh, the coffee tins, and then the clean coffee tins, and then cooking oil. And that's that. Um, so in my workshop, I have all. So I have, okay, so I've got all um, majority of legendary weapons, any legendary and unique weapons, I've got them all here in this workshop. Yep, <laughs> that's all of my stuff. Um, and I did the same thing with the, why did apparel not go start from the top? So here's um, all my legendary pieces of armor as well. This does not include um, costumes that will be upstairs. Um, I do have some aid in here, and I don't know why. Especially like my alert queen mate, why it's in here. Um, I got all the majority of the uh, miscellaneous stuff in here too. And then my junk. Oh, and my ammo too. <laughs> My wider range of uh, ammo. Wait, why do I... I have so many fusion cores that I've only used for like a little bit. But it adds up. Hmm. Okay, so we'll move upstairs. So here is... Obviously, if you couldn't tell already, Piper is my main companion. She is my uh, more or less wife. Um, well... Yeah, I gave her the wedding ring that was Nora's. Anyway, so I got uh, some more decorations. I got the Boston Red Sox. got the Silver Shroud. And the bobbleheads I do have. I am not making it a point to go out and collect every bobblehead, bobblehead as well as every magazine issue that there is in the game. Um, just if I happen to run into them, I'll grab them. No big deal. No sweat. And so here's the uh, dresser. I've got 
I got some weapons in here, like the Silver Shroud machine gun, uh, the 10 millimeter pistol you get when you first exit the vault, um, and Grognak's axe. And then just a bunch of, so that's like some else stuff, I don't know why I decided to keep it actually. And then all of the clothing options, <laughs> uh, ranging from Brotherhood of Steel stuff I picked off from their bodies to Creation Club clothing to legendary stuff like the Mechanist from Automatron and uh, Legend of Vault 88. As well as I picked up uh, full suits of uh, robot armor from the uh, Dust Dust Rust Devils in uh, Automatron and then the space suits from Nuka World. And that's that. I I've also tried to collect like all the all of the uh Voltex jumpsuits if I could, but I can't really. <laughs> and this was from uh, this was Bobby DeLuca's Vault eighty one suit. If you watched my Vault eighty eight video, um yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, so that's all that stuff. And I did pick out a bed from uh, Creation Club, and I like the color blue. So then, here we go. Um, these are some of my retired weapons. Um, I don't know. Can I please interact with this? No? Do I have to pick it up? Alright, I guess I have to pick it up then. Um, so this was my first sniper rifle. It's got the uh, military paint from the Creation Club. Um, I did retire it um, for over here. Um, the what did I call it? Mighty Number no. One. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. What is death perception? There we go. Uh, yeah, I call it Mighty Number no. One. I really don't know why I called it that. I just did. It's more or less the same thing as the uh, 50 caliber that I just had on the wall, or maybe it's a 308 caliber. But it's got the uh, Adam Katz flame job from the Creation Club, but it does 25% more damage, so that's why I kept it there. And then I've got my shotgun. This is really obnoxious. Um, this is a standard combat shotgun with a Miniman paint from the Creation Club. Uh, no legendary effect. I call it Resilience. I think it was more. I think it was probably just a play on words for the Miniman. I might be wrong on that. And then I got my 44 caliber pistol, which is not a uh, Kellogg's pistol. It's just one I picked up. And I named it Nora because it's got the uh, Vault Tech paint. And I figured it was the better, best way to commemorate your past wife with a uh, a gun, I guess, <laughs> with the Vault Tech paint job. And you'll see with uh, Nuka World and uh, Far Harbor that I will do the same thing, where I will have um, not only just the weapons, but also that over there, those armor sets. If you saw really quickly. Um, tribute, memorial, memorial kind of stuff. So then we got this part over here. So I'm a big fan of the uh, decontamination arc from uh, Wasteland Workshop. I love it. It's practical. Saves on radways. And then we'll go to that last actually. So then over here is this little another hangout area. We got our Diamond City radio. There's a couple of picket fence issues as well as hot rod issues that are the same cover. Um, the picket fence, the, so the, like the duplicates, I did put them out on this coffee table that also did come from Creation Club, but my hot rodder issue disappeared. So I don't know what paint job it could have been for, but unlike um, example, unlike. Let's say if I can find it. 
the... I'm actually not sure about this. This might be a bad example. So, or no, I'll, I'll find a better example. So, like, for example, if I don't have this inventory, the Slocum's Joe franchise kit from the Creation Club, if I don't have this in my inventory, I don't know if it's on purpose. I would assume it is. It wouldn't be a glitch. Um, it, like, if I don't have it in my inventory, I don't have it at all. Like, I can't build any of the Slocum's Joe stuff. So, that's why I keep it in my inventory, and it doesn't work the same. It's not the same way it operates for uh, hot rod paint jobs, the magazines and stuff. Oh my god, I completely forgot to show this off. I'm sorry, my magazines. Um, and then I grab the vault uh lunchbox, put it here on this coffee table, as well as a... I'm not sure what, actually what model that is. I want to say it's a Sentry Bot, but I don't think that's correct. Interesting note, I saw from a Oxworm video about, I think, the model kits or something that, like, for whatever reason, Bethesda made the model kits models from uh, Fallout 3 or New Vegas, which is interesting that they wouldn't do it from Fallout 4 unless they'll do it in Fallout 5, where if there's Sentry model, there's model kits, they'll do it from Fallout 4. Uh, just kind of like in uh, The Sims, if you've ever noticed, in The Sims games, um, the character models that they use, like in the TVs, like on the TV shows and stuff, uh, they use the graphics from the previous entry. So like Sims 4, if you watch the TV on there, you get um, you get uh, Sims 3 models, and the same thing with Sims 3, you get Sims 2 models. I That's kind of funny, at least with The Sims. Uh, we got Automatron poster. Um... His and her power armor suit. <laughs> um, I picked up the uh, XL1 suit that you get in... I can't think of the dungeon. I can try and find it really quickly on the map. Whoop. Um, I don't think I'm going to find it quick. Oh, shoot. I think it's some reason it's like near the castle. There is it. Maybe it's General Atomics Factory. I think there's a full suit of power armor and it only exists I believe if you have automatron you can only get the full suit of power armor in that dungeon if you have automatron and then I think this also existed only in automatron in that same dungeon the general atomics factory uh, the Tesla suit of power armor so you get um, these three pieces of power armor the Tesla so they increase energy damage each of those three pieces I figure because they're T60 parts I might as well just add other T60 parts I have and put them here um, and there's also the Tesla rifle that's in my workshop that's also from that uh, that same boss fight so this is my suit of power armor and this is Piper's so yeah his and her situation I got the display stands from uh, I don't think it's contraptions. I'm not sure which workshop pack it's from. And then finally, well not finally, we still got the magazines. <sighs> we got the mannequins. Um, so again, I like to memorialize stuff, so this was the loadout I was using. I was just using the uh, metal combat, metal, pe metal armor pieces with uh, the Vault Tech 111 suit jumpsuit underneath there with a metal headpiece and then Piper was just rolling with her uh, I don't know what you actually call it whatever um <laughs> or do you actually okay with her trench coat and press cap as you can see she's not wearing it and then uh, my second roll of armor I used for, I believe Automatron, I think I reset, or maybe I didn't. I don't think I did. I think I just used, I think I got tired of using this stuff and I wanted to use other armor pieces, so I ended up using uh, combat armor with sunglasses and road leathers. Um, and I just renamed the combat armor to White Knight 
I don't know. I wanted to put a paint on it, and they're all white, so I just figured the white knight as opposed to like the black knight or something from mythology. Um, and then uh, Piper's armor that I had her use, uh, which was just the military fatigues. I did not actually have her use the uh, helmet. I just did it just for aesthetic purposes, so it's a full suit and military uh, fatigues and sunglasses. And then finally, finally, we'll move all the way up here to my magazine collection. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know why I just thought there was something up here. I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. All my magazines I've collected throughout the game. I don't have them all. I don't have the trophy for it, but uh, this is just all the ones I've collected in my playthrough in the Commonwealth. And you'll see the same thing with Nuka World and Far Harbor. I have all the magazines for those, but not um, in the Commonwealth. So, yeah. <laughs> that is uh, Home Plate. Uh everybody so that's my home plate i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like on this video and to subscribe to follow the rest of this series and to subscribe and hit that bell notification button thank you everybody so much for watching i'll get you guys next time